It was a gorgeous day on Fantasy Island where creatures gifted with magic made their homes. In a small colorful house lived three girls. They saved other worlds from disasters with their special abilities. Today was going to be one of the toughest challenges they would ever face. It started that afternoon when the girls were enjoying a regular day. Renee was playing a video game called Monkey Maniac. Come on, come on. Ugh, I still can't make it. Renee gritted her teeth. Priscilla looked up at Renee. Will you please keep it down? I'm trying to read. Priscilla loved to read, especially adventure books. <laughs> Who are you talking to, Renee? Yourself or the monkey? The monkey? She can't jump. Renee tried hitting the buttons harder, hoping to make that jump. Yoli went back to her drawing of spiky looking characters with large eyes. Then all of a sudden, they heard a knock at the door. Renee continued playing her video game. Persea and Yoli looked at each other as if to ask, who will answer that? Yoli stood up and answered the door. A girl from a different world stood outside with a worried and frightened expression on her face. Help, an evil demon named Dante has taken over Topaz world and changed my people into ghosts and captured the royal family. Please hurry. Who knows what he has planned next? Persea shut her book and set it aside. Don't worry, we'll rescue your world. Renee jumped up. Yeah, we'll get moving right now and that Dante will be sorry he ever stepped into Topaz world. Yoli quickly grabbed her sketchbook and attached a pouch full of colored pencils to the top of the sketchbook. Now you wait here and when we're done saving everyone, We'll come back to tell you. Persea, Renee, and Yoli rushed to the Dimension Center. The Dimension Center was in the middle of Fantasy Island. It connected other worlds to theirs. Well, it's through this door. Let's go. I'm going to take down that Dante guy. Renee opened the colorful door that led to Topaz World. Persea patiently stood behind Renee while Yoli peeked behind Persea, trying to look through the door. These dimension portals are so scary. I don't think I'll ever get used to them. Yoli frowned. The girls went through the door, one after another. Going to another dimension felt like flying through a foggy windstorm. Yeah, this is excellent. Renee put her hands in the air like it was a fun ride. Her voice echoed throughout the area. Yoli crossed her arms. Gosh, Renee, you act as if we're going on vacation. Oh, come on, Yoli. Just because we're going to battle, don't mean we can't have some fun. Then Renee, Persia, and Yoli were in Topaz's Dimension Center. Just beyond here should be Exalia Village. It's been about two years since I've been to this glorious world. The girls were now in Exalia Town, but it was dreary and filled with people transformed into ghosts. These must be the ghosts the girl was speaking of. One of the ghosts approached Persia. Please save us. Then all the ghosts crowded around Persea, Renee, and Yoli. They all began talking at once. Nothing they said was understood. Be quiet, be quiet. Renee angrily jumped up and down. Everyone became silent. Renee, sorry about that, everyone. Okay, now, just one of you speak. The same ghost they spoke to first began to speak. We're the innocent people of this town. Please get rid of Dante so he can possess peace once again. Where is Dante? The ghost pointed to the forest. He went through that forest and just beyond Crystal Hills. He's staying in a small castle, not too far east from Fantara. Renee crossed her arms. That's all I need to hear. Time to accomplish this mission. Let's take flight. The ghost quickly grabbed Renee's hand. No, don't. Look above. Fire-breathing demons. They'll shoot you down. Renee looked down at the ground in disappointment. Well, I guess we'll walk then. Yoli smiled. I agree. It sounds more safe. I wonder what we'll find in that forest. They headed into the forest. Rain was pouring down heavily right when they got into the forest territory. Strange. It must be Dante. He's changing this world drastically. Persea stuck out her hand, feeling the freezing rain. 
this guy seems to have some strong powers. What if we can't beat him? Yoli wiped away some raindrops in her eye. You must think positive. Don't forget, we're able to use magic. Yeah, but change weather towards different and different places? Renee ran in front of Yoli. Don't worry, Yoli. We'll find a way to defeat Dante. I bet it'll be easy to take him down. Oh no, monster's coming this way. Get ready. Yoli's eyes widened from being startled. Renee grinned with excitement and charged at the monsters. I'm ready. Perseia pulled out the green emerald and turned it into a rod by cupping her hands and bringing them outwards. Then she sent out fireballs from her rod. Yoli began searching through her sketchbook for a tough looking drawing. When Yoli found the perfect artwork, she made it rise with her hands, motioning it to lift from the paper. Yoli's creation arose and began to attack one of the evil monsters. Before they knew it, the monsters were defeated. Prisea changed the rod back into an emerald and put it in her pouch. Renee jumped up and down, triumphantly. Yeah, hooray! They weren't so tough! Yoli's artwork disappeared, returning to her sketchbook. Yoli then sat down. Ugh, I guess that wasn't too bad. Well, let's head on. The royal family awaits us. I'm ready for more. The girls walked through the forest without running into any more monsters. When they reached the end, Prisea, Renee, and Yoli found themselves in a cold, snowy area. They saw tall, colorful crystals. This must be Crystal Hills. It's beautiful. There's snow as far as I can see, but the air seems polluted a bit. Renee stuck out her tongue and shuffled the snow. Yucky. I've never liked the cold, snowy, icky weather like this. Prisea put her hands on her hips, analyzing Crystal Hills. Oh, wow, Prisea, Renee, look at these strange looking snowmen. Renee and Prisea stared at the snowman. Renee began to laugh. <laughs> They're strange, all right. Just look at the stupid expressions on their faces. Something doesn't seem right. One of the snowmen angrily grabbed Yoli's arm. Get off of me. She yanked her arm away and quickly ran behind Renee. The rest of the snowmen came to life and started trying to scratch them. Get away. I'll teach you a lesson. Renee punched and kicked every snowman down. Yoli giggled. <laughs> you sure did that fast. Renee put her hands on her hips and stood up straight. It was simple. Then a fierce howl was heard from a short distance away. The girls looked in the direction where the howl was coming from. I'm Dante's minion, Akka. He knows you're here and I'm going to eliminate all of you. Akka had a mad expression on his face. Renee was getting irritated and stomped her foot. By yourself? Yeah, right. I'd like to see that. Ignorant you are. I'll show you. Akka began to grow a lot taller than any creature in the world. The girls seemed like insects to him. Oh my, he's at least 20 feet tall. Yoli began to shake, frightened by his enormous height. Prisea got prepared by getting her magic rod. Oh please. Renee started kicking and punching him. He easily set her aside. Renee! Prisea stepped up closer to Akka. Yoli, go make sure Renee's all right. Yoli nodded. Persea took to the air, sneaking behind Akka. She fired out shooting stars. It wasn't enough. Persea began to ponder of what she could do that would be effective. Akka turned around and smacked Persea, leaving her twirling in midair. Ow! Okay, think Persea. Persea managed to get control of herself. The wand didn't seem to be working very well. Then she remembered that her wings contained a special dust that could disable a few spells, and Akka's increased height ability was one of them. Persea flew over Akka, sprinkling the dust all over him. When he was his normal height, Persea zapped him with her wand. She caused damage to him, and now he was helpless. It's over now. Please go away, or I'll zap you so many times to where you'll be paralyzed for a long time. Akka immediately ran out of sight. After Perse changed her magic rod back into the emerald, he returned. And just one more thing, Akka grinned. Renee gave Akka a dumb look. Oh yeah, what is it now, loser? I would have had you if it wasn't for that stupid tall spell. Well, move along, Perse already beat you. 
Akka blew a dark bubble, trying to hit Perseia, but instead it got Yoli. Yoli was trapped in the huge bubble. Yoli, let her go! Renee tried breaking the bubble, but it didn't work. Yoli kicked and screamed, Help me, help me! She'll do. At least I was able to capture one of you annoying pests. <laughs> you better let her go, or I'll attack you once again. Then Akka teleported himself along with Yoli. No! Renee dropped to the ground and slammed her fists into the freezing snow. Yoli! Perseia looked at Renee, upset. We've gotta hurry. Right, Yoli's in that castle. I just hope we won't be too late. Renee magically brought out her broomstick to ride upon. She held it with a tight grip. Okay, it's not too far from here. East from Pantera. Let's go. Perse and Rene rose from the ground. All right, let's save Yoli. I hope she's okay. Then they flew away quickly to Dante's place. <laughs>